this year prize from University of Texas at Arlington in Arlington, Texas. I will be showing you nearpod.com is an online teaching tool. And this is activities for undergraduate level for Russian language. You can select the activity to be student paced if you assign it as homework or asynchronous section. You can session, you can also um, use live participation for um, synchronous online teaching. And in this one, students will join with a code. So for now, I'm going to show you a preview that will demonstrate some of the activities that I created. And I tried to use uh, as many, actually all of them that are available on here so that you can see how they work. So this is an interpersonal activity, uh, interpersonal episode, uh, episode where students uh, should be able to ask and answer questions about their preferences in food and drink at the end of this episode. So first, um, this is the Russian table and I'm introducing some Russian food items. And um, they, students, I would like to know if they remembered some of the items I introduced. So I'm doing a short memory test where they would have to match um, the cards, find a match. So you can see that once they find the match, they stay up. And I can see the progress as a teacher. And then the next activity here is that they're matching the picture of uh, the food item with uh, its name. So just like that. Um, another activity I have here with vocabulary items is uh, climbing this mountain where the students have to select a uh, match again for the picture and um, climb the mountain by selecting the correct answers. This, these are just interactive activities that don't necessarily um, have to do much with interpersonal mode, but um, they are preparing for um, just to make sure that the students are um, actively participating in um, the to, to move towards the overall goal here. Then we are here in this 360 environment where students can also use um, this their mouse to look around the Russian restaurant room and see what they see. So this is where we see some uh, talk about this a little bit as well as the table, how the Russian table is set up, how they're signaled together and uh, how you have to ask to pass the dish because everything is on the table. And so this is where the dialogue first happens. I'm gonna demonstrate the dialogue where I'm asking what they like more, what is more tasty. So this is where I'm demonstrating it as if I'm sitting at the table or if asking something to, to pass something. Again, to uh, reinforce what I just did, I'm doing a little poll asking what they like more as if I'm sitting at the table. So they're giving me the answer what they like more and I see what class likes more and then I'm using a different construction what they think is tastier. So again, all these phrases are from this dialogue that I want them to do at the end. So here's the dialogue again, I'm, I'm talking through it again and then I have them answer some of the questions from this dialogue first in writing. So what do you like more, cheese or bread? They're gonna type it in and I'm gonna see it on my side of the screen. And again, another one where they uh, use a different construction from the dialogue, what's tastier? And they're gonna use this comparative here for me. And then um, here I have open-ended question that microphone and I allow so here I can listen to the question and then uh, my students will report their answer Мне больше нравится салат оливье answer Мне больше нравится салат оливье answer Мне больше um, so this way I can see if they can answer specific questions already and uh, understand the questions. And again, this is uh, for teaching so that they can um, all be actively engaged. So now I'm moving to some more phrases, which is try this pie or pass me this dish. 
and I want to make sure that they know which phrase to use in certain situations. So for instance, I have this, you want someone to pa pass you the cavi caviar, what do you say? And so they uh, select what they would say. And so there are three questions in this quiz and I can see what uh, they answered correctly. Uh, finally, I want them, not, not finally, but closer, I guess, to the um, doing dialogue on their own. I would like for them to um, fill in the blanks here to make sure that they know uh, how this dialogue is going to flow. And then they click close, uh, done, and they see what they've done, uh, how they've done it on it. Here we're going to put together the, some items to the, to the Russian table. So here uh, I'm asking the to put some items on the table as if they're visiting a friend. Uh, they can just um, type it in, pilmeni, for instance, and um, uh, post it, or they can also do a little search and find an image of the dish that they want to bring, and they're gonna post that and so then everything uh, populates here on this board so that we get a full table of Russian dishes. So now we're going to use this table to, to do some talking. Before that however we want them to be able to recognize what they're being asked. So here um, I'm asking them to pass me uh, an item and they need to select what exactly they're being asked to pass. So they're circling like this and so I have a few of these um, type of questions. And again, I'm going through dialogue. As you can see, I'm doing this multiple, multiple times before they do it on their own. And uh, first, again, we're practicing some questions and answers. We're doing it in a flip grid. It's in, in, embedded here into uh, Nearpod and where they ask a question and they can like, um, what do you like? And then someone goes in and responds with another video response. Finally, they're gonna uh, split into breakout rooms uh, on the platform that I'm using and do the dialogue uh, themselves. And I can demonstrate it one more time just before or demonstrate it with a student before um, they do that so that I make sure that they know what they're doing. So here's that and um, just again to show you uh, how that would um, look from the building side, how to build this. Okay, so you have all the slides. It's kind of like a slideshow PowerPoint. So you can uh, just drag all your slides in here. Um, so, and then, or you can click uh, add content and here this content that you can add. Some of these things I didn't use such as Sway or um, you know, 3D and things like that. But I did use slides and uh, 360 field trip I did. You can also insert videos and things. And then, but I did use all of these activities that I showed you. Um, I, use, I tried to use all of them so that um, you can see how they work. Um, so yeah, you just add the activity and um, add, provide some content. So this version is uh, free. Uh, it has the same functionality as the paid version, except um, it has limited space, how many um, power, how many slideshows you can create with that. Um, so for um, you're just limited in the space, how much you can store in your account if you're using a free version. If you need to create more than uh, just a few, then you will have to subscribe. Um, I think that covers uh, the basics of it. Thank you so much for your attention.